Tyson was among the Kennedy Center honorees in 2015 and was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom the following year. Cicely Tyson, as you know, she's being remembered this morning for her genius as an actor, and yet her heart and humanity in blazing a trail for other black performers is what many people are talking about today. The Oscar, Emmy, and Tony winner died yesterday, ending a hugely influential career that lasted through seven decades. She was 96 years old, and we spoke with her a week ago before the release of her new memoir, Just As I Am. It came out on Tuesday, and she told us about the obstacles that she had overcome to make her dreams come true. Whenever I'm offered a script, the first thing I do, I read a script a hundred times or more. I just keep reading and reading until I feel it. When I get to the point where I feel like her skin has fitted my arm or my mind, my skin will tingle. Oh my God. It's Nathan. Nathan! From her Oscar-nominated performance in Sounder to her Emmy-winning performance in the autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman to her Tony win for the trip to Bountiful. Why well, is it some days everything works out and some days nothing works out? Huh? Cicely Tyson put her heart into every role she played. That was part of her gift, was her access to her humanity. LeVar Burton starred with Tyson in the TV miniseries, Roots. She was that deep well of strength and resilience and elegance and grace and beauty. And her talent was her ability to effortlessly access all of that humanity. Tyson pursued her dream of acting despite her mother's objections. She didn't speak to you. Oh, she told me I couldn't live there and do that because she thought that I was going to live in the den of iniquity. Tyson succeeded at a time when black women were at the bottom rung of the ladder, but she never gave up. You said when you started acting, you dreamed of seeing yourself in the front row of the Oscars. I said one day, and this was long before I got to be. I said, one day I'm going to sit in the front row of the Oscar Awards. And I did. <laughs> I know you did. Tyson was among the Kennedy Center honorees in 2015 and was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom the following year. What my life became is not what I expected. I had no idea that I would touch anybody. When the time comes, what do you want us to remember about you? I've done my best. That's all. Wow. Her best her, was her pretty good. Pretty good. You know, we'll, of course, have more about Cicely Tyson because I adored this woman. Yeah. And when I asked that question about how do you want us to be remembered, it's not that... I thought the end was near. It's just that she's 96. That's sure. the only reason. But she had so many plans that she was still working yeah. on, and we'll talk yeah. about that. But it's just, I, I, I just can't express my feelings today about seeing her and looking at that interview. And I looked at it myself three times yesterday. It takes on a totally different meaning. I, I'm now just analyzing everything every she little said, detail, yeah. every expression. Yeah. It's amazing that she told you that she, she got into acting because she was shy. She yes. could speak through others because yeah. as she grew, she became much more comfortable and powerful speaking yeah. in her own voice and yeah. by the end i mean peerless at that yeah. and now i hope they have great cable in heaven because people are saying wonderful things about yes. her right i, I hope she's yes. hearing this yes. <laughs> so i love that lavar burton said talking about her because it, it was something you always saw in her which was grace courage and resilience cicely tyson was essential she yep. was essential right. i am a firm believer in uh, divine guidance my mother said uh, when I was about six months old, she was pushing me in the baby carriage. And she was stopped by a woman who was admiring this newborn baby. And she said to my mother, take care of that child. She has a sixth sense when something was going to happen.
in the family, around the family. I didn't like it. I was beginning to think that something was radically wrong. And it was my cousin. He was a psychologist. He said, let's go for a walk. He took me to a bookstore. And he bought me all of these books. And he said to me, we all have it. Some more de- later, I had this dream that I fell in the street and that I had my left hand extended for help. And so I, 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 there was something about it that was very strange. I had this chill. I was cold as clay. Somebody's trying to get a message to me. The phone rang. It was my sister. And I said, how are you? She said, not good. Mother just passed. She got all dressed from her door. And six, she dropped in the street with her hand. And when I say I'm divinely guided, I, I just let it come wherever it comes. I make sure that I leave it and let it do what it has to do. And I tell you, I got to the point where I no longer feared it. I welcomed it, as a matter of fact. Hey, this is your girl, Nicole Reloaded. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe, and all of that good sh- Make sure you pay attention to this content disclaimer. Okay, I'm reloaded. Uh, 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 uh,